Hello everybody and welcome back to Go Figure Customs YouTube channel. I've got another two minute trick and tip for you and this one probably will only be about two minutes and it's probably going to seem like a no-brainer but I'll tell you what it saved my bacon more than once. If you are like me you have a lot of different paints that you use. Also if you're like me you're working on a lot of customs at one time. Now, normally I have any number of customs that are a work in progress. And normally a lot of those aren't gonna get finished because any various reasons. I don't like them, some doesn't work, I don't have the parts, but all of these are gonna get finished. Uh, kind of left to right, we got Back Blast there. We've got the fridge, we've got one of the Ghostbusters, we've got one of the other Ghostbusters, we've got a Tiger Force Outback. We've got my salvo, and this is where this tip and trick comes in handy. Repeater, Falcon, my first try at salvo, and Captain Gridiron. Now normally I don't start painting until I have all of the accessories and parts I need for a figure. I do the build, I prime it, I paint it, it's done. However, since I had so many work in progresses going, and all of these are going to be viable customs, I didn't want to wait until I had all the parts, so I started painting what I had on hand. And I did screw up one of them. I screwed up my salvo. But luckily, I did this one tip and trick, and I took a picture of the custom that I was working on with the colors of paint that I used for that custom. Because I started working on it probably two, maybe three weeks ago. So I have no idea what color I used for his shirt because I've done half a dozen different customs, painted half a dozen, half a dozen different customs since I started that. Luckily, I took the picture of the paint with the custom. So when I had to go back and start reworking on my salvo, I knew exactly what colors I used on that figure. And there's your two minute tip and trick this is very handy if you screw something up, need to go back and repaint it and re remember what colors you used. This is also very handy if, unlike me, you make multiple copies of customs that you've made. If you go back a year from now and say, hey, I want an, uh, another one of this particular figure that I made three years ago, you have pictures of what color paint you used. Again, I know that sounds really simple, but it's really effective and it's saved my ass already once. So hopefully you found that useful. As always, please do that some fun social media stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.